summertime, hot weather, and satisfying meal. In hot and warm summer days, many cultures make their own traditional cold soup. This soup is similar but with different names. Hi everybody! Halatun Chatore. It means how are you in Farsi language. I'm Rosina and you're watching Let's Cook with Rosina. I'm sure you have heard about Spanish cold soup that's called gazpacho or Bulgarian soup that's tarator. But perhaps you have not heard about Iranian cold cucumber and yogurt soup that's called abdukhiar in Farsi language. Cold cucumber yogurt soup, or as we call it in Farsi language, abdukhiar, is a combination of plain yogurt with cucumbers, fresh herbs, garlic, walnuts, raisins, and sprinkle of dried rose petals and lightly toasted lavash bread or tortilla bread to crumble on top of the soup. Abdukhiar or Persian cucumber and yogurt soup is a classic and simple Iranian soup. I like to call it a kind of cool soup for hot weather because everything is served cold. And it's perfect soup when it's hot outside. And in my opinion, it's one of the best cold soups that you can try it in hot summer days. Before making abdukhiar, I think it's necessary to translate abdukhiar. Okay, let me translate abdukhiar word by word. Ab means water. Du means buttermilk that made from uh, stirring yogurt butter. So it is abduk. And khiar is cucumber in Farsi language. So let's get started and I show you how to make Iranian cucumber and yogurt soup or abdukhiar. Ingredients for abdukhiar are fresh mint, basil, targon, green onions and dill. Using fresh herbs in this recipe is highly recommended for the best flavor and texture. Then we need some dried rose petal that make abdukhiar typically Persian. And you can find good dried petals in Middle Eastern supermarkets. Spices for garnish and seasoning like salt, pepper, dried rose petal, mint and thyme. Lavash bread or tortilla bread. Plain Greek yogurt. Some heavy cream. Garlic cucumber it doesn't matter big size or small size raisins i love the colors and walnuts we are going to make toasted or crispy tortilla bread so warm a pan over medium low heat and no oil needed now rip bread into small pieces and toast them until brown and crispy. Then remove from the heat and set it aside to cool. Oh my God, just look at these toasted tortilla bread. They are crispy and crunchy. Mmm, I love it. When the cucumbers start coming, they come all over the place. Now here we got cucumbers and I'm going to use five medium sized cucumbers. And after washing these, I leave them unpeeled because I like the color and I like the texture. What I do, I trim off two ends. Now you want to cut each cucumber lengthwise and then slice them into small pieces. Okay, there is a sliced cucumbers. Now we need a large bowl. All right, into the bowl it goes. Using fresh herbs in this recipe is highly recommended for the best flavor and texture. So wash the herbs carefully and take leaves out of the stem. Here we have targan and beautiful dill leaves. 
then I have my home planted uh, mint here so some are pretty bad here but I would pick up good ones uh, you know the proportion of mint is not that important here and it depends on you with more mint or less mint this mint is quite strong and I love fresh smell of mint leaves you know you can add two or three mint leaves to your tea and have a tasty aromatic mint tea with the slices of your favorite cake or cookie it's really beautiful tea oh by the way did you know you can get my free ebook with five easy and delicious rice recipes that will help you with cooking i will leave a link in description box and you can just click it and pick it okay remove outer layer of the green onion then chop off the root ends and top part of the green and then line up the green onions and thinly slice them okay now what i do i put all herbs together use a sharp knife and finely chop them oh my god this bowl is getting heavy okay all chopped herbs into the bowl go okay now two garlic cloves you want them raw i'm going to use a grater that just turn the garlic into the nice puree and it will evenly flavor our cucumber soup as you see the garlic is stuck to the back side okay now i'm going to use a chopping board and i'm going to chop half a cup of walnuts carefully rock the blade across the walnuts and uh, chop it until pieces are desired size okay now i'm going to add crushed walnuts to the chopped herbs and vegetable also add salt pepper dried rose petals dried mint thyme and raisins to the mixture and mix all ingredients together until well combined perfect now i'm going to bring a big bowl pour 500 gram greek yogurt in it and also add 70 gram heavy cream then combine yogurt and heavy cream together after that add 500 milliliter water and whisk together until smooth just please keep in mind this soup should not be very thick or very runny and watery now i'm going to add yogurt and water mixture to the cucumber and herbs mixture and stir to combine mm, looks really fantastic okay now our cucumber and yogurt soup needs to go into the fridge for an hour until nicely chilled and ready to serve okay guys our soup is ready to serve but before that uh, I'm going to decorate and garnish the soup with a mixture of dried mint and dried rose petals and some raisins and there is one last ingredient for our abduhiyar and that's a few ice cubes that helps the soup to chill and then give a good stir cucumber and yogurt soup or abduhiyar nicely chilled and ready to serve ladle soup into individual bowls and that looks just so good add a few pieces of toasted tortilla bread that you made it ready earlier yes just like this give a stir and let it soak for a couple of minutes i love when they soak up the soup and enjoy your cold soup with a spoon in each spoon you will have a little bit of everything yogurt walnuts raisins herbs and bread it's just yum really so good it's time to try mm. 
this is crazy good. I mean, it's perfect for hot summer days. It's refreshing and healthy and great for hot days that you don't want to stay in the kitchen. It doesn't need to cook. It doesn't need to oven. Just mix all ingredients. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave your comment down below and let me know what do you think about this Iranian cold soup. See you in the next one. God bless and lots of love. Bye.